It's an exciting day here at Today. As it is every year, but this is my first one, so this is awesome. We're having so much fun already. We've got fun treats, we've got prizes and surprises coming up for some of you. And you know, it's an annual tradition for the Today Show to go all out. And of course, we all get a little costume crazy, including yours truly this year. Look at you in your costumes. You got the memo. Yes. Way to sell it. And do you know who I am? Here's a little hint. Man, I feel like a woman. Yes, Shania Twain, which I did not exactly nail, but I gave it the best effort I could. Uh, see, look. Are you convinced? Look, look. Yes, right? OK? Have I pulled it off? I, yeah, I tried. And Shania came to surprise me when we made the big reveal earlier in the hour. She was here. I didn't know. They surprised me. They surprised Carson with Billy Ray, who came out. Yes, this is, yeah, humiliating. Um, anyway, she came out. I didn't know it was wonderful. And she's going to surprise you in a moment. Also, you saw Matt. Did you see Matt? Matt Lauer? Dolly Parton? Totally obscene. Totally obscene in a great way. Savannah was Kenny Rogers. I couldn't stop looking at her. Look at her. Look at her. She looks awesome. Uh, we had Al. <laughs> we had Al as, as Willie Nelson. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> uh, Carson was Billy Ray Cyrus, which was perfect because Kathy Lee was Miley Cyrus, so they had a father-daughter thing going on. Uh, and Hoda was Blake Shelton, next to the real Blake Shelton. Can we see Hoda? Her, she has the blue contacts in. Look at Hoda. Look at her. <laughs> I can't stop looking at her. Look, and there's the real Blake. Who is so nice. Look, look at Kathy Lee and her daddy. Anyway, it was an amazing morning out on the plaza. And as you know, Halloween is all about the scares and the surprises. Uh, and so my team, you know, being in the full spirit of things, decided to surprise me moments ago. Look, here I am going in my dressing room after the Today Show hit. Look what they did. They TP'd it. <laughs> oh my God, it's right back to middle school all over again. So mean. Such mean people. <laughs> it was two ply. I want to say that it was a real waste of money. Uh, and I am told that we had a professional prankster help us scare you. Oh, yeah. Yes? Right? Are you, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I want the audience at home to know our studio audience got scared this morning. Our friend Rich Ferguson set up outside as our audience filed in. Take a look. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead, sir. segment called Try This Today, and together we tried to pull off some last-minute Halloween decor for our doors, like creepy hands filled with candy corn and jelly beans. And guess what? I tried that today. And look at my front door. There it is. Nailed it! <laughs> right? What do you think? And may I call your attention to the candy corn covered pumpkin? The lady didn't even show me that, okay? The lady didn't even show me that, although Google did. Anyway, I highly recommend. <laughs> Speaking of doors, who could, who could be here? Mm. Who's, what's happening over there? More smoke, what? Oh, Shania Twain! He's here! through it because I did watch Shania Twain videos for a couple of days, especially this morning. And what I really want to know is, hold on a second. Oh, it's over there. It's too low. But I, like oh, the really? mic stand, like you, 
You were batting it back and forth. Yes. Yeah. How I do you know, do it? But normally. Oh, she knows what she's doing around a mic stand. Uh, I, I haven't done this in a long, long time. It was back and forth. But it, it, you got to be like. <laughs> X-rated, you should hide your son's eyes over there. The skirt is a little short. Okay, so it's a new <laughs> album. It's, it's, it's so fun to see someone else be me. You, try to you're do doing this? an excellent job. I mean, I, it gave me boobs where boobs didn't exist, <laughs> and a waist where a waist didn't exist, and a flat stomach. It's all good. Oh, I recommend the corset. Um, okay, we're going to try to have a serious moment, because I do want to talk about your album now. After 15, did you know that she's been off the scene 15, 15 years? We've all been listening to you during that time, so it doesn't feel like you've been out of the scene. But what was that like, and it debuts at number one, to come back? Well, I mean, I feel very welcomed back because of that. And, um, you know, I just want to thank all the fans for that. It, it, thank you. It's, um, you know, the fans always telling me, I can't wait, you know, to come back. Where have you been? Hurry up, you know, and... So when the album finally came out and I, you know, I just realized that everybody really meant it sincerely and oh. that meant a lot to me. You um, have been writing, you wrote it in the Bahamas, right? I wrote a lot of it in the Bahamas. I wrote she the wrote it on album. herself. Yeah, I wrote, I wrote What is a country Bahamas. girl like you doing writing your country album <laughs> in the Bahamas? <laughs> <laughs> I like to write in isolation. Um, I mean, I do write sometimes when I'm traveling as well, but I like to be isolated and in a very quiet environment. I don't like to be distracted by a lot of things. So I just need, you know, peace, quiet, and, and isolation. Yeah. So, so good call uh, not doing it here well. in New York City. Yeah. There'd be a little bit too much distraction. Yeah. I'd be like, okay, what show do I go to? And where, what restaurant do I, yeah. you know, eat? There, we, we have no peace or isolation here in New York. Too much, so much to do here. We yeah, don't believe no in that. <laughs> In addition to writing this album, you've been you've starred in a movie with John Travolta. Yes, that's true. Tell us about that. Well, um, last minute, I got invited by John to go play his girlfriend in this movie called Trading Paint. So I jumped at the chance. I'm like, of course I'll right. do it. He's such a great guy, really sweet person, and I trusted him too. I mean, I've never, I've never been in a movie before, so this is the first thing for me, first time thing for me. But he's such a caring person, and I knew that he would walk me through it and, and coach me through yeah. it, so, yeah. Now, I know that you, you had a vocal cord injury. That's one mm -hmm. of the reasons why you were off scene for so long. Yes. How great was the fear that this moment wouldn't happen, where you're back celebrating your return, your, your movie career now? Yeah. Well, 15 years ago, I thought I would never sing again, and seven, so, you know, when I, I really, really stopped recording albums because I couldn't record albums. And I, w I, I had Lyme's disease. It's, it's a very elusive disease. I don't know if anybody, you know, I'm sure everybody's heard of Lyme's disease by now. It's sort of coming a little more in the forefront. But I didn't associate my Lyme's disease with my voice weakening. It was weakening and weakening and weakening. Se till seven years later, and I started tackling, you know, getting down to the bottom of it. And it took seven years, so it took to now, um, to get it back where I can wow. make albums and get out on stage and sing again, so you, it's incredible. We, my husband and I saw you uh, perform at the opening night of the US Open. Right. You were amazing. You were as strong as ever, as beautiful as ever. Thank you. All the best to you on tour and Thank with the you. album. I appreciate it. One. <laughs> Good night, Twain, everybody. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.